All right, guys, now that we're back and uh, now with uh, everything loaded and the firmware loaded, what we want to do is with the drone facing perfectly in front of you, right? So the back is towards you and the front is facing this way. Make sure it's perfectly st straight. I want you to go ahead and I want you to click connect. Okay, now pay attention here. What you're going to see is it's going to tell you there's a problem with the motor protocol. It hasn't been loaded. And it's going to tell you there's a problem with the acceler accelerometer. It hasn't been calibrated. We're going to go ahead and address those in this video, okay? Plus set up a few things right now. So here's what we're going to do. First thing is I want you to click close. Okay, now I want you to notice this first screen. This is the setup screen, okay? And if you were to take your drone now and tilt it backwards, you should see the screen respond the same way. Forward, backward, left, and right. If you're not seeing that happen, you've got a calibration problem or there's something on your drone not sitting properly. So just make sure you verify. And if you notice right here, the green props indicate forward and there's the um, green arrow. So that's the front and the red props indicate to the back, okay? And this is why I said you always need to sit your drone sitting with the forward from the, from the back to you all the way front because the program is designed this way. So we wanna make sure we work in conjunction with the program. All right, so let's look at the, uh, the message that we had. The first one said that the, um, the motor wasn't set, uh, the protocol, and then the second one was about the accelerometer. So here's your accelerometer right here, okay? All the accelerometer is doing is it's telling the drone when it's on a level surface, right? So we want to calibrate it to be level. So it's saying it hasn't been calibrated yet. So as long as your drone is sitting level, right, go ahead and just click calibrate accelerometer. Now you see it, it's going to tilt it, it's going to angle a little bit. Now let me just show you a little bit more extreme version. So let's say I tilt the drone like this and I hit calibrate accelerometer. I'm telling it that it is now at I'm telling it there that, hey, we're on a level surface when we're not. We're actually at about 45 degrees. So when I drop it, we're at, we're at uh, yeah. So if, when I drop it, and that's about 38 degrees, you're going to see now, I put it down on flat, but because the calibration, the accelerometer was calibrated at an angle, it's now, it thinks now that it's actually tilted to the left by 38, almost 39 degrees. Well, that's not right. It's actually flat right now. So we want to use calibrate accelerometer now, and it should go to almost zero degrees, okay? It may jump a little bit, but it should sit at around zero degrees. All right, the other thing you see here is a reset Z axis. That is this right here. So let's just consider this the north and south, right? So north is in the front and south is in the back, and this thing wants to know if it's pointed properly. So if I turn it like this, and I'm telling it that's actually the correct direction, then I click reset Z-axis, it's gonna think it's straight. Now when I put it straight on my table, it's gonna bring it to the left again, okay? So make sure that your drone is flat and straight when you click these two buttons, okay? And that's, that's that part, portion of the error, and now our drone is calibrated properly. The next thing we wanna do now is we wanna to go to ports. And in ports, what we wanna do is, let me make it very clear, do not touch this right here. This USB VCP, please leave that alone. If you turn that off like this, and you were to click, oh, it's not letting me, I guess it won't let me now, but if you happen to turn that off, uh, or manage to turn it off somehow, and you click save, you will be locked out of getting into this flight controller again, and it's gonna have to be sent back to us to repair it, okay? So make sure to not mess with this. All I want you to do is I want you to locate UR1, and I want you to go to this ser serial RX column, and I want you to turn it on. So it should be UART1, serial X, on. And then I want you to go to UART3 and go all the way to peripherals column and click down and go to the VTX IRC trim, okay? Don't worry about the warnings up here right now. We'll deal with those later. Right now, we wanna make sure this is for your smart audio. This is telling the, the radio that on your controller, you can actually change the video channel now. And that's what this enables you to do. And this is for your receiver. So once you go ahead and click save and reboot, Okay, now let's do this here. All right, now we're back and now it's me in my face. Sorry, mm, hate to ruin your day, but, but I wanna show you a few things. So here's our warning again, and that warning is now telling us about our motor protocol. We are gonna deal with that in just a second, but let me first get to the configuration tab, okay? So pay close attention here. What I want you to do here is I want you to go, your next tab here is configuration. So go ahead and click it. Here, pay attention to the changes we're gonna make. First change, we're not gonna to touch anything on this side or anything on this side. Just make sure your values match, okay? We're gonna to go to this side here though, and we're gonna turn off barometer and magnetometer. We could talk about what those are later, but right now we're not using them, so there's no sense in taking up the resources for them, all right? We're gonna scroll down, and under personalization, I want you to type your name. So just go in there and type in, just like, I'm gonna put my name, so my name's Tarek, and there it is. And that way, when somebody's, if somebody's watching under goggles or watching on a video screen, they're gonna see your name under your drone. Like they're gonna see the video with your name underneath so they know who it is, okay? Put your name there. Do not, there's nothing to change on the D-Shot beacon configuration. There's nothing to change on the camera. 
Uh, and under beeper configuration down here, there's nothing to change. The only thing I want you to do is over on this side under other features is I want you to make sure to turn off air mode. Everything else should be off. So make sure to turn off air mode and then GPS should be off. And all these beeper features here, you can leave those alone. So as long as it looks like this, okay, and we'll go back up and slowly go down. You can pause the video if you need to reference your screen. As long as your screen looks like this, I want you to click save and, save and reboot. Okay. Now, when we log back in, we're still going to have that motor error one more time. So here it goes. Ready? Go ahead and click close. This time, I want you to come down to the motors tab that's right here and click that. Okay. And this is very important. All right. So the first thing I want you to do is that error is referring to a protocol. And right here, there's no protocol. It says disabled. So for this lesson, we're going to have you drop this down and go to uh, one shot, one, two, five. Okay. Make sure that this is off and this is off. And the number should read 1072,000, 1000. 3D is going to be off. And everything else should look just like that. Click save and reboot. Okay. All right. Now. Um, we're going to go ahead and connect again, and we are going to now just look at the motors, and we're going to take a battery, so just take a battery or, or some power source, okay? And I want you to plug it in, all right? Let me show you. I'm just going to put mine here, okay? I'm going to turn my drone a little bit so I can plug this in. I'm going to turn it on. Let me turn that off real quick. There's something I want to show you. Before you do anything like that, um, I didn't even think about this, but it's going to be very important. You need to um, disconnect. Let me, let me show you how we're going to do this here. So let me make this bigger here so you can see. I want you to disconnect the white plug that plugs into your uh, uh, video, okay, your VTX. That's this plug right here. If you need help doing that, get your instructor or somebody to help you, or you can take the top plate off. But if you can manage to just get in there with some tweezers, you need to take this off because the rest of the work that we're going to be doing, this VTX, if it stays on and there's not, and the drone's not flying, it's going to overheat. Okay? So I want you to make sure you disconnect this cable for now. We'll plug it in later when we're ready. But right now, with all the motor that work that we're going to be doing, we need to leave this disconnected. Okay? Once you've got that disconnected, go ahead and plug in your USB port again. And go ahead and plug in your battery. Okay? And we'll get back now to our beta flight screen. All right, so here we are, we're gonna click connect. And we're gonna go down to our motors tab. Oh, you see how my drone looks crooked here? Well, it's not. So let's go ahead and reset our Z axis, calibrate our accelerometer, and then if you, <coughs> excuse me, if you notice, we did not get the error about the motor protocol because we changed it. Let's go back to motors. And I want you to look at this picture right here. You see how it says one, two, three, and four. So if you look at that in your drone, it's telling you that this is motor one, motor two, motor three, and motor four. And if you look at the arrows, the arrows are telling you the direction that these motors are supposed to be spinning. So motor one and four spin the same direction and that's clockwise, they turn to the right. Motor two and three, they spin the same direction which is counterclockwise, so that means they turn to the left. So what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that these motors are turning the right way. And here's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna come on over here with our battery plugged in and no propellers on and our VTX unplugged, okay? We're gonna turn on this little switch right here, just like that, okay? And all these buttons light up blue. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the following. We're gonna take motor one and we're just gonna gently move the slider, okay? And what you can see is the motor here is spinning. Your motor should be spinning too, okay? The problem is it's spinning the wrong direction. And if you try to figure out how to tell what direction it's spinning, you could just put your hand on it. Don't like grip it tight because you don't want to stop the motor, but you could just feel the direction it's spinning. And this one is spinning to the left. You can also take a piece of paper or something. And if you see the paper is going this way, which means the motor is spinning that way. If the motor is spinning to the right, the paper would be going this way or this piece of plastic. So motor one is spinning the wrong direction. All right, and we're gonna show you how to fix that. So what I want you to do is, I want you to make notes. You can either go back to your notepad. I'm gonna to go to my notepad here. I'm gonna say uh, motor one uh, is wrong direction, right? Wrong uh, direction, okay? Oh my gosh, there we go. All right, let's go back here. Now let's do motor two. Okay, that's the top right motor. Motor two is spinning 
clockwise. And again, if you take something and you just look, see, it's going this way. That's the wrong direction. So we're gonna go turn that off and we're gonna come to our notepad where I'm gonna do this. You can do this on a pen and paper if you want. M2, uh, wrong uh, direction, okay? Now let's go back to motor three, turn that on. It's gonna be your bottom left motor. Motor three is turning the wrong direction as well. Okay, it's going clockwise just like motor two and we want it to go counterclockwise. So we're gonna drop that, go to our notepad and do the same thing, M3, wrong uh, direction. Okay, and now let's check motor four. Let's turn on motor four. That's the top left. All right, motor four is going the wrong direction. So these are all going the opposite, and that's just simply about the wiring. These are all going the opposite of where they need to go, so we're gonna turn that off. Go to our notepad, and we're gonna say motor four, wrong direction. Okay, all right. Now that we've got that done, I want you to flip this switch right here, okay? And I want you to go ahead and on the top right, of, uh, you can't see it on the picture, I want you to just go ahead and click disconnect, okay? All right, and here's what we're gonna do. All right, now that we're done with this, I'm gonna put a video on here. The next video is going to be uh, what we use in our, in our other build too, and it's gonna tell you how to download the BL Heli software that you need in order to configure this drone properly. So I'm gonna run that video next, and then I'm gonna come back and show you what we need to do on this drone, okay? So stay tuned, that video will be up in just a second.